Well, you know what I'm saying? What's up, bro? What's going on, y'all? It's Art from Madrid. It's popping. Shoot, man. You know what I'm saying? We here. You know what I'm saying? Kind of, kind of got mixed up today, but hey, bro, we still here. We, we, we doing something. You know what I'm saying, bro? Get done regardless. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up with your dog, man? What you all been working on? Bro, to be honest, I've been chilling, like getting a lot of videos done, trying to work on the music. But I ain't gonna lie, like, like I told you, just started doing this stuff like recently. A couple months ago, but it's, it's kind of like the transition to being with, like who I was before to this is 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 difficult. It's hard, so I just been focused trying to work on my mindset, stay focused through all that. Word. So yeah, man, give me give me like a little background on how you started doing all this. Like, where did this all start? You know I'm saying, how did it begin for you? What made you start doing what you're doing? Damn, bro. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Like back when I was little, I was I was mad quiet. I was hella quiet. So. Um, I was I was mostly a gamer. I always played video games. I like to be home. I did not like going out. So I was like, in my head, I was like, damn, help. And like back in the day, I used to I used to edit videos and pictures all the time, just like like off the muscle when I was bored while playing video games, like yeah. little video game edits here and there. But then like I just started to grow, I, like, I just started to grow up and shit. And like as I got into high school, you know, like life starts to hit, and you realize you gotta do something with yourself. You can't play video games all all day. I was like. I was like, what can I do to like make money at the crib, you know? I started off doing like different businesses here and there and then started making music when I was like, like about two, two and a half years ago, like straight in my closet and then did that for a little bit, started networking like that, met new people, I went to school for it. Um, and then I just just got into videos recently because I was, honestly I started off wanting to make bread, but then I realized like it's, it's more to that, you feel me? It's really, it's really just as simple as like taking the camera and like recording it. You feel me? Like you, yeah. like you were doing, like you said, you just got the camera and started recording and shit like that. But like I said, this is something I feel like it was made for me since I was little. Yeah, like you said, man, you was, you was doing it way before you even knew this was gonna be a career path. So, you know, it shows you, you know, you have a, like a niche for this, bro. With the videos though, you know, like when you started doing it, was there anything that was like complicated when you first started doing your videos or was this like easy? I mean, there's always something that's hard when you're doing something, but was there anything that was like a barrier that you couldn't get through when you first started doing your videos? Yeah, like barriers, I can talk about barriers I'm going through like right now. Type, yeah, what would that be? Um, Cause it's like, I'd probably say my type efficiency, like when it comes to editing. Yeah. Um, editing. Editing I take really long on, like some parts I probably do like, for example, masking and stuff like that. Yeah. I take really long on that part, and then in reality, in reality, I can just skip that, go work on something else, and go back to it. You feel me? So um, editing would take really long. Um, another thing was really like another thing is like being a director, like just like having taking that director. I position. feel that. Yep. I you feel that one hundred percent. You gotta be like really like a leader and knowing what's going on and how to move everything around yeah mm -hmm. i get you on that bro like i said i was dumb quiet back in high school i didn't really talk to nobody so when you got like you got all these people you know like looking at you coming to you for like telling them what to do like they, they really want you to like just tell them what to do and they'll do it you feel me but it's just different you feel me like i said i'm trying to adapt to it and i just know like consistency consistency is all it is so definitely is man you know what i'm saying we built to win so anything you put your mind to you know and time you're gonna get better at it like yeah. you know you're just talking about doing the masking in videos that's something that i had problems with from the gecko you know because you know i'd always watch videos on how I like to do certain things and like you know um that was a masking but uh um damn i forgot the name of it whenever you like trying to do something from transition to transition for example like you know how they put the names on like on the videos and it'll, yeah. it'll probably come out from somewhere keyframing key keyframing yeah, yeah. so like keyframing right that was something that i was really i didn't understand keyframing you know what i'm saying and mm. i was just talking to my boy about this like probably like a week ago or two like when i first started doing videos i didn't know how to keyframe and as in time would be like just working on videos uh, little by little it got easy and then me watching the videos that i didn't understand what they was talking about keyframing it made sense you know yeah. what i'm saying I don't know if you've been like, through that. Honestly, YouTube is like YouTube is my go-to when it exactly, comes to yeah. videos and stuff like that. But um, I really like while watching these YouTube videos and trying to learn. Like, I wouldn't say like I don't want to like copy other people, but like that's how that's how you learn. You feel me? Yeah. By copying them first, and then I really just while watching these videos, I really just I realized it kind of kind of wasn't helping me. I still really get overwhelmed with like 
everything you can do like yeah. to a video you feel me so I'm, now i'm looking at it like instead of watching all these youtube videos it's really just like sitting there and just playing with it you feel me just taking the time to sit there and look at literally everything just opening it up and trying it out and then if it don't work you feel me just delete it and then try something else because that's really all it is like you can you can really watch videos and learn everything you need but if you're not like actually sitting there and putting the time in and practicing it you're not gonna get nowhere for me yeah i had i had a whole bunch of videos that i've done before that i felt like it wasn't like the best that i could have done you know i go back redo it again and then keep on working on it and like you said you know you're not obviously gonna sit there and watch a youtube video to copy them but you know you get your, your ideas from yeah. other videos for example i watch a lot of like when Pop Smoke was still alive, his videos, psh, them shits is hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't like I ain't really listened to Pop Smoke when he first blew up, but then like when I did catch on, yeah. his videos are fired. Yeah, I don't know if you seen that Travis Scott in his video, yeah, him and Travis Scott. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were like in a Bugatti. And yeah, they were driving, what bro. What song is that? Cause that's like one of the hardest videos. Like, yeah, yeah, yo, that's, what called. that's one of the hardest that, videos. I think it's like the camera movement. I think yes. that's like fucked me up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bro. I was like, damn, how did that cameraman? You know, whoever edited it, how did they do that? You know what I'm saying? And if, I don't know, he has another song with Quavo too. That they was in Paris. Yeah, that video as well, bro. Like that right there. Would I would I would watch it? I'm not yeah. sitting there like, oh, I want to copy the whole video, but I'm looking at scenes on it. Like, yeah, I need that. Like, I, I want to learn how to do that. You know what I'm saying? To put that in because with editing, you could grab something yeah. and then you can mix it with something. If you know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. Yeah. 